<coughs> Just a very short video. Um, this is a very strange and a new problem which I encountered today. Uh, basically, this is a Acer. What's the model number? Oh, yeah, you can drop. No problem. Um, Acer Aspire E11. Um, the rest of the uh, model number is ES1 11M C3CP. Um, it's one of the ultra books with the with the 32 GB of MMC uh, E. Is it MMC? I think it is E M M C 32 GB of uh, memory. Um, basically, it's one of the ones that's just absolutely crap with very low memory. The problem what we have is here is is the touchpad is is not responsive. It, it judders. Uh, Sometime it'll just freeze and won't do anything. Um, you've got to sort of go over it. You know, like this, and, and 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 try and move a little bit. But when you're using the mouse, the the cursor seems to work absolutely fine. It's just pity that I fixed the problem, um, and as a result of that, I can't sort of demonstrate the issue live. You're just gonna have to take my judge, uh, you know, word for it. The solution to the uh, issue is basically. Uh, let me zoom in. All I've done is that there is there is a bad contact. Uh, between the ground pads here and here onto the ground and it's done through a little uh, uh, ribbon or, or a tape I should say a conductive tape uh, but this is crap so what I've done is I've, I've looped this side onto this side and ran a wire onto the motherboard let me just show you Hope that there is enough light there is and you can just about see that uh, the wire has actually soldered onto this part of the uh, board. You can put it on any ground. It could have been here, you know, I, sh I should have done that, but I just decided to come this way for some strange reason, but I've done it. And it seems to be working absolutely fine. So touchpad, let's power it up and show you very quickly what's going on here. Okay, let's power the... But it came on all by itself and I turned it back off again. Because obviously there's no... Uh, See my battery, I need to charge my camcorder. Camcorder as well, so let's just sort of find a plug somewhere. Uh oh, I'm gonna struggle now because the camcorder might just go off. Let me just sort of, just bear with me gents. No, it's not gonna happen, right? I'm not gonna find a battery main source. Okay, so as you can see that the cursor, let me get this a little bit closer. As you can see that the cursor is very responsive. Absolutely, just so that I'm not messing you guys about. Let's just zoom out. And as I'm, as I'm, let's get into the corner. As I'm, look, it's very, very responsive now. So that was a quick and easy fix. This could vary from model to model. So you know, um, just very strange and unusual problem. Usually it's the touch driver that's got a problem, but this time around, unfortunately it was it was actually the ground contact which was quite poor. Um, so that was the fix. Thank you very much, have fun, bye for now.